All right, today is uh, March 12th, it's about quarter after 11. We are going to be doing a standing Indian loop trail hike, which uh, first is gonna start off with the Long Branch Trail for a few miles heading up to the AT, and then uh, from there we'll be heading over to Standing Indian um, Mountain and uh, staying at Carter Gap Shelter this evening, which is about 12 miles, and then tomorrow we will be heading from uh, Carter Gap back to here. So it's a giant loop of about 24 miles. Uh, weather is great today, it's probably in the 60s. Um, got my two hiking companions behind me over there getting ready to come on up, and uh, we're gonna head on up. So it should be a great trip. Uh, the first uh, few miles is going uphill, and then once we get to the AT, it levels out. So I will check in periodically as we go. Somebody that's got an excellent campsite. And a lovely guard dog. from there and we're heading up that way and here we'll be taking a break And uh, we just stopped at a shelter and had a little break, a couple of snacks, met a couple uh, no bows on the AC. Started March 1st and they're already up to uh, near Standing Indian, so that's a, a pretty good thing. I'm happy to see that there are uh, some people making it past Neil's Gap and hopefully they make it to Hot Springs and well beyond. So we got another seven miles to get to Carter Gap Shelter where we'll be staying this evening. See if we find anybody else there. Um, We'll be up at Albert Mountain here shortly. And then I see you at the fire tower, which is the first time that I've actually been on this hike where I've been able to see off of Mount Albert. So I'll check in when we get up there. All right, Albert Mountain fire tower. And actually on a clear day. First time I've been up here where I actually could see anything. Top of the fire tower. Look at the views we got today. Amazing. About 360 degree panoramic view. You can see I'm all the way at the top. I go up to the fire tower, but it's actually locked, so. And you can see below me is the drop off. Awesome.
no one particular uh, craziness about this, but uh, I just wanted to remember this. This is kind of cool. This is a uh, tree that has grown pretty much over a rock. Kind of, uh, kind of neat. Kind of neat. All right, we just got to Carter's Gap Shelter. It's about quarter to six, and I am uh, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna set up uh, camp and uh, get some water and uh, get some grandma belly. I'll leave my uh, tent site for tonight. sure about this doesn't taste bad but then it'd be good if I was out here for a few days looking for just about anything to eat but eggs didn't really constitute back the way I thought they would so I may try some mountain house some um, dehydrated bulk eggs that's where it tastes pretty good and bacon does but this is gonna need some work Maybe wash it down with some coffee instead. Hmm, that's better. It's 20 after 9, and we're getting pretty much a late start this morning. Um, but we've got six miles to go to Standing Indian Mountain, which is about, eh, roughly about a 1,300 foot elevation gain. Um, but pretty gradual and pretty pretty easy. I've done this before, so it's not too bad. Uh, then we've got two miles to the Kimsey Creek Trail. And once we get there, we'll hang a right, and we've got four miles to get back to our cars. So I will report in periodically. Um, it's already a beautiful day. The night was not overly cold. It was windy last night, but uh, Carter Gap Shelter, for me, has uh, notoriously always been one of the colder shelters. I've ever stayed at. Probably not the coldest, but the cold, one of the colder that I've ever actually stayed at. So just be prepared if you do come up this way. Bring extra extra layers and and we just reached Standing Indian, had lunch, had some ramen noodles with some dehydrated chicken, but uh, gorgeous view today. Let's take a look. now on the Kimsey Creek Trail, which is about four miles to our cars, and we just got off the AT, left a few people that's actually one of my hiking partners, new, so it was kind of interesting, it shows you how small the world really is. Another thing that I want to make a point of was something that was really, really inspirational to me. We were 
on top of standing Indian and ran it into a father and son combo. And he asked me to take a picture of him and his son and was more than happy to do that. And they notified us that basically he was up here because, you know, he's got a tumor inside of his chest that is unoperable. And his son loves this, only nine or ten years old. But it's really moving to see why, why you really need to get out and hike. Because it, uh, it builds long-lasting memories and is something that's just great. But that was a really motivational, moving story. So I'm going to head down the rest of this trail here. we got about four miles. It's looking like it's going to be wet. So following along the Kimsey Creek Trail. This is the Kimsey Creek Trail where you're going to be coming out at. You're going to come from down here and up. When you come to the road here, you're going to avoid going across to Lower Ridge Trail. You're going to follow the road up this way and you get a beautiful uh, view of the river here. Let's take a look at this. The river's flowing from that direction and heading down this way. And after about 50 yards, you're going to re-enter the woods right here. Takes you to the backcountry information booth where you'll park your car. You can see we've gone through the campground and we're just about done. <laughs>